Hi, my name's Greg Lutz, and I'm a jazz musician, and this segment is about different styles of improvisation for the alto saxophone. In the beginning, there was the blues. The blues are the roots of every style of jazz, and for that matter, every style of music that is out popular today, from country to rock to, you know, all the different other styles of jazz. An example of the blues would be... As instrumentalists learned to play the blues, Dixieland, on around the 19-teens, became a very popular style, especially in New Orleans, and it's characterized by group improvisation, everybody's improvising at the same time, and generally one of each type of instrument, one saxophone, one clarinet, one trumpet, etc., the more people got together and played that style, it turned into big bands and the swing era was born, and that was generally in the 20s, is considered the, the height of it. Both of these styles are very, very similar in that there's a very heavy vibrato and a lot of scooping, and it sort of sounds like an old black and white cartoon. For example... <laughs> As the big band era progressed, a handful of excellent musicians selected themselves to be the vanguard of the next age. They invented a language called bebop, which is now the Esperanto of jazz. In the 1960s, jazz began to branch out into a hundred different directions. And now there are many, many different ways to play jazz that are accepted in a modern style. So, to recap, there's the blues, there's swing and Dixieland, there's bebop, and there's a hundred different ways that are accepted as modern improvisation. And that's an overview of improvisation for the alto saxophone.